A nasty altercation caught on camera at a popular pool bar last night. Tonight, we have video of another fight. Same venue, same day, same security. Good evening. It is one of the hot spots in the city in the summer. Cabana on the waterfront was ready to boil over yesterday after a violent incident, first of several, that reportedly left two men with concussions. Like hundreds of others, Josh Gomez and some friends headed to Cabana for an evening on the water. But one of his buddies lit up a cigarette in the no-smoking area. It was when they were asked to leave that things got physical. Gomez admits he threw water on the security guard, who then punches him repeatedly. After the dust settled, Gomez says he called police, but that they dismissed his allegations and that pay duty officers at the club didn't do anything. But police spokesperson Megan Gray says the pay duties called in the attack. We do have two calls that were made by pay duty officers on scene uh, to ask for some assistance from the local division. Those officers did arrive, uh, and it appears that victims and witnesses were gone when they did arrive. Gomez says from his side, it was only the next morning when he went to police with the video that they launched an investigation. Uh, certainly, though, if there's anybody who feels like their uh, complaint wasn't adequately responded to by the police officers, either the division or the front line or the paid duty resources, uh, they should file a complaint so that we can do a deeper investigation into that. Now, Gomez isn't the only one who feels security at Cabana was heavy handed. Ryan Calvert, who took the video, told Vice Canada that he was threatened by security and his wife had her phone taken by them. So what's the club saying about all this? It released a statement today, which reads in part, quote, Cabana takes incidents such as this one very seriously. We are cooperating with the Toronto Police Service so that they can understand the entire context of what took place, including the customer conduct that led to the altercation. Our priority is to ensure that our venue is a safe place for everyone, including staff and customers. This was a very unfortunate incident. The one guy seemed to be fighting back, so I mean, but uh, no, it was definitely, uh, definitely over aggression by uh, security. It was a pretty violent day at Cabana yesterday. Peter Ungerang was there as well. His video is of a different brawl between partygoers and security. Ungerang says he used to go to Cabana a few years ago and says he was surprised by what he saw yesterday. It's not like a nightclub, like a nightclub, you run into a lot of you know, drunk people, and there's always, you know, other people looking for fights, and uh, so that, yeah, I never think that was, that was new to me for sure. Now, we spoke briefly with Gomez earlier, is to, earlier today on the phone. We were to do an on-camera interview with him, but he told us that both he and his friend have concussions, and he was unable to do the interview. Now, for now, the police investigation continues.